Welcome back. How do we treat an oral hematoma without even lifting a scalpel blade? Is this even effective? Let's find out the details. Non-surgical treatment involves needle drainage and flushing of the hematoma cavity. The concave surface of the penis should be clipped and aseptically prepared. Make sure that if the ear canal is still seen or is still patent, make sure to plug it in with gauze sponges and or cotton plugs. A 14 or 16 gauge needle or a 19 or 21 gauge butterfly catheter is inserted into the dependent portion of the hematoma and directed into the pocket. For those floppy-eared dogs, the needle is inserted into the end of the hematoma near the pina apex, so the fluid draining from the needle hole does not enter the ear canal. Fluid is drained and then the pocket is flushed with sterile saline to remove the clots. This is where the procedure has its limitations since blood cl clots and fibrin technically are bigger than a 14 or 16 gauge needle. They will not fit when you aspirate it. So they will stay there and will not be evacuated. Unless the hematoma was presented to you acutely or as soon as the hematoma ha happened. But that's not the case, usually. Steroids can be injected into the hematoma cavity before bandage placement because of the anti-inflammatory effects of glucocorticoids. Local steroid injection, or what we call intralesional um, infusion of the steroid, can predispose it to abscess formation. This necessitates the use of sterile technique with this kind of procedure. Steroids like dexamethasone diluted with sterile water or sterile saline is infused into the ear once a day for one to five days. Bandaging is still recommended to prevent damage during continu continued head shaking or scratching. However, IV administration of glucocorticoids is not recommended due to its systemic side effects.